I think now that we've introduced Lenz's law, it would be uh, useful to take another look at electromagnetism. Uh, one way of doing this is to use one of the FETs. Um, so, unfortunately, this is one of the Java FETs, but um, in any case, if you do go to uh, FET.com and uh, uh, check it out, then you can uh, run this uh, electromagnetism FET, and I think it is kind of useful. Uh, in this case, this shows our uh, coil. So a uh, battery is connected to the coil, and you can see that uh, basically as the current goes through the coil, it generates a uh, magnetic field. So uh, you'll notice that uh, in this case, so I think the red's pointing to the right. So in this situation, uh, we have the uh, north magnetic pole to the right, south magnetic pole to the left. And so the uh, concept is that um, basically uh, you can figure out the direction of the magnetic field in a loop uh, basically by uh, using your right hand rule. So as you recall, uh, this thing, this is really just Ampere's law, right? I know this is a, uh, uh, so uh, this is just Ampere's law here, so well, we're just using our right hand rule to uh, figure out the um, uh, direction of the magnetic field. But in any case, uh, it's worth rethinking because now that we've uh, sort of run into the challenge of Lenz's law, we're going to be thinking about the magnetic field generated by uh, coils quite a bit. So um, then we can also do the reverse. So we see that we can generate um, a, a magnetism using electricity, but we can also use magnetism to uh, create electricity. So in this case, uh, we have a moving magnetic field. So this one, this FET is uh, linked in your, uh, uh, I think it's the next slide on uh, long kappa. And basically you are moving a uh, magnet through a pickup coil, and then you can watch and see uh, when the uh, electricity gets turned on. So in any case, uh, the point is that uh, if you have a moving magnet or there's a relative motion between the magnet and the coil, uh, this means that you can produce a electric current. So in fact, uh, you can do this. Uh, so for a sort of quick demo of this, uh, I do have a, let's see if you can see this very well, um, but I have here a uh, basically a flashlight. And so here you can see the two copper coils on the sides here. And then in the middle here, uh, this is a magnet. So basically this is like a flywheel and then it's connected to a permanent magnet. So what happens is if I uh, spin this, then I can uh, cause the, magnetic, the magnet to spin. And so that then will induce a, a current through these coils. So if I spin this, so you can see here I am generating um, some light. So that's all that's going on, right? We are uh, moving our magnet. Uh, in this case, we're spinning it. So we have a, a changing magnetic field uh, going through a loop. And that's then going to induce, induce a electric current. But the key is uh, the, uh, uh, basically, the magnetic flux has to be changing. We need the uh, uh, magnet to be moving. OK. So the next thing we want to look at is the uh, direction of the uh, current in the loop and what the uh, uh, direction of the uh, electromagnet then is. So we have, I need to slide this up here. Uh, I made this too small. All right, so here we go. So um, here we go. So we have our, uh, uh, basically, a, a coil here. And we are saying that our, elec our electric current is uh, going around this way, so it is going counterclockwise, right? So the question then is, um, if the um, current is counterclockwise, uh, what direction is the magnetic field going? So to do this, we take our right-hand rule, and uh, here at the top of the coil, we want our thumb to point to the right in the direction of the magnetic field, and then we uh, basically reach up through the middle of the coil. So if I grab my coil here, so my thumb goes to the right, and so then when I reach up, then my, the magnetic field is coming up out of the page, okay? And if I flip this, so if I uh, took the bottom of the coil, now the current would be uh, going to the right instead of the left. So here, my thumb would point to the right. When I put the coil here, then my fingers would still be uh, pointing out of the page. So no matter which way I point this, uh, the magnetic field is coming uh, up uh, out of the page. So uh, in this case, uh, this is um, out of the page. OK, and so now, uh, which corresponds to the north magnetic pole? Well, if we think about this, 
uh, where the uh, magnetic field lines come out of the north magnetic pole. So if they're coming out of the uh, top of the page here, then that means that the north uh, magnetic pole is also uh, out of the page. So um, I think I used this thing before. This is the same idea. So I have my current uh, here. It's going counterclockwise. So if I do the thumb, then that means that the field's uh, coming out of the page. And so the north pole is pointing out of the page here. So then, once you've set this up, then this can uh, point uh, any which way, but uh, it's always going to be the same. All right. The other question that uh, gives people a lot of problems, this is kind of hugely one of the two or three worst problems on the exam every year, um, is what happens when we uh, look at uh, basically an electromagnet and a regular magnet. So in this case, uh, we have a, a permanent bar magnet that is placed next to an electromagnetic coil, and we're told the uh, direction of the current in the uh, coil. So to do this, again, we have our uh, loop here. And so the top of the coil, it's going uh, up. And then in the back side of the coil, the current is going down. So if we take the uh, side closer to us, our current is pointing up. That means then that the uh, field lines are coming uh, to the left here. So that means that uh, the left-hand side is going to be the North Pole, and this will be the South Pole. And so if that's true, well, then we know that the uh, uh, electromagnet and the uh, permanent magnet are going to attract each other. Uh, if we flip the direction, so uh, if I took my coil here and now uh, turned it the other way, in this case, the thumb would be pointing down. It would uh, go through the coil, so the magnetic field would point to the right. So that means the right-hand side would be the North Pole, and the left-hand side would be the South Pole. And in that case, then, they would uh, repel each other. OK, so I think this is really just uh, another practice of the right-hand rule, but it tends to give people a lot of trouble. So I'd like you to take another look at it, especially since uh, this and Lenz's Law really are probably the two of the uh, most challenging th things that uh, we uh, do on our f in this course, really. Okay, so, all right, you have a bunch of practice to do with Lenz's Law and uh, electromagnetic direction, so uh, good luck with that, and take care of yourselves.